Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. All right, so I'm going to give you guys the answer to this quiz. I'm going to explain why it's the correct answer, and we're going to look at the comments and see what everybody else is saying. All right, quiz. Fedogia agrestis is scientifically proven to boost testosterone in humans. Is this true or false? True meaning, yes, there are human studies proving this, and false, no, there are no human studies proving this. What do you guys think the answer is? If you have not taken... Uh, if you haven't participated in a poll, you could comment below before I give the correct answer. Uh, what do you guys think? Well, the answer is false. Yep. So 65% of you guys have this answer wrong. Remember, I said it is scientifically proven to boost testosterone in humans. That is false. There's not a single human study done on Fedogia aggressus that shows that it boosts testosterone in humans. Now, it does boost testosterone in rats. Uh, that is backed up by evidence. Uh, and once again, rat studies are fine. In fact, I can make a video explaining why rat studies are actually better than human studies in many cases. Um, I, know, I know this sounds crazy, but if you actually uh, know how research is done and the limitations of human studies, you'll know why. There's a reason why over 90 to 95 percent of, uh, you know, animal studies are done on rodents. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's not a single human study peer reviewed and published, let alone a good study, meaning randomized, double blind, placebo controlled. Uh, showing that Fedogia works for humans. Now, now that does not mean that it does not work in humans. That's not what I'm saying here. All I'm saying is we don't have human studies yet. You guys know it, it is never wise to jump into something unless you have a lot of evidence, not just in animal studies, but in human studies. We need both because they each have strengths and weaknesses. They each have pros and cons. There are pros and cons to human studies. There are pros and cons to animal studies. You need both. Plus, you obviously need empirical evidence and things like that, right? So, yeah, it's funny how everyone is hopping on Fiduja Agrestis, you know, without even waiting to see the side effects, the long term. We, we already know the side effects on animals, you know, the toxicity and, the uh, you know, testicular damage and things like that. But we don't even know the short term and long term side effects on humans. We don't know the long term side effects on rats because, again, we don't even have enough animal studies. We have some, you know, they are promising. Don't get me wrong. They're promising, but we need more. We need multiple studies, you know, enough to do a meta analysis. So I don't recommend you guys hopping on shit that does not have enough evidence, you know, especially when you don't even know what's the right dose and, 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 and whatever. Not to mention, if you watch my video on supplements and testosterone boosters, that I don't think you should be on testosterone boosters anyway, right? Like I said, the only people that should be on testosterone boosters are the ones who are already doing everything correctly. They're already doing the basics. Sleep is fine. Nutrition is fine. Micronutrient efficiencies are taken care of. They're exercising, they're training, they're getting sunlight. When you're doing everything fine and your T levels are over 800 nanogram, right? A thousand or more, at least 800 nanogram per deciliter, then you could experiment and say, hey, you know what? Let me waste my money on this supplement and see what happens. But you guys are not doing it. You guys have 300, 400, 500 nanogram per deciliter testosterone and you hop in on T boosters, right? And it's actually making your the, the, the cause of your low testosterone worse because testosterone boosters are band aid solutions. Right? They don't fix the problem. Right? They mask the symptoms. If you need a testosterone booster, something is wrong. Just like if you need caffeine, something is wrong. Caffeine is great, but it's a good supplement to use when you actually don't need it. When you want that extra boost in energy, that's when you take caffeine. Same thing with testosterone boosters. You take them, if you want to take them, when everything's already going well and you just want that extra, you know, boost. That's how supplements are meant to be used. But you guys are using them as the band-aid solution. If your T levels are low, you need to fix the root cause. All the T boosters are going to do is make it seem as if everything is fine. Meanwhile, the wound is infecting underneath the surface. Right? Also, keep in mind that Fedogia aggressus, it has different mechanisms of actions. You know, it increases cholesterol within the cell, the Leydig cells. Um, it has the effects on luteinizing hormone. But keep in mind that you do not want anything that increases luteinizing hormone. Right. Outside of the basics, obviously, outside of sleep, nutrition, whatever. Why? Because if your brain is not releasing luteinizing hormone, it's for a reason. I repeat, if your brain is not releasing enough luteinizing hormone, meaning it's not releasing enough GnRH, it's for a reason. It could be due to your nutrient status, stress control, stress management, whatever. So instead of just saying, hey, let me just take the supplement that bypasses my body's way of releasing LH. No, you should identify the root cause and fix it. You do not want something that just 
overrides your body's homeostasis mechanisms. But anyway, let's look at the comments and see what everybody else is saying. All right, just wanted to say I love your content. It's really helped me improve my athletic performance, especially in jujitsu. I've seen gains from the gym. Da, 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 all right, appreciate the love. Glad to help. Uh, you guys know that's my mission. I want to help for free. Free information. Um, everyone should have access to free information. All right, next. How long would you recommend to rest between sets? Uh, come on, that, that has nothing to do with the top of the video, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to stay focused here. By the way, best channel. All right, thanks. Appreciate the love. Megan, you think there's a correlation between levels of testosterone and the hardness of the tool? Um, obviously, there's a correlation, and there's also some causation because you need testosterone. You, you actually need estrogen to have a strong erection. You need testosterone, DHT, and estradiol, right? Your principal estrogen to have a powerful erection. Um, and I could make a video explaining exactly why you need those three. That's why if you black testosterone, you know, you have erectile issues. If you black estrogen, you have erectile issues, especially if it's too low. You know, you don't want estrogen too high. You don't want it too low. Inverted U-curve. Uh, and you definitely don't want DHT too low because that also affects erections. Um, and it's mainly through, you know, nitric oxide pathways and, you know, um, inhibiting certain enzymes. But I, I can make a whole video about that. Also, I heard that a tool which has a higher elevation when erect indicates high T levels. I, I'll make a video about all that. But let's, let's stay focused. You started making vids for your poll, and if we're getting one for this, I'm excited. Well, hopefully you are excited. Um, never tried this one. We all know about Tonkat Ali, but I'm surprised no one ever mentions Holy Basil. That stuff is gold. Um, let's see. From what I heard and seen, yes, it can improve people's T levels over a certain amount of time. Um, like I said, I'm not saying it doesn't work. Obviously, it works. If it works on rats, there's a huge chance it works on humans. People forget that rats... People actually are surprised how similar the human body is to, you know, our physiology is to rats. Whether cognitive function, endocrine function, respiratory function, we are very, very similar to rats. You know, um, I know it sounds crazy because you're like, well, look, uh, look at a rat and look at a human, but that's how you know you got to study biology. We are very, very similar to rats. In fact, um, when something works on a rat, there's a bigger likelihood that it would work on humans than the reverse. I repeat, if something works on rats and mice, rodents, there's a bigger chance that it'll work on humans than than it won't. Um. Now, that doesn't mean that just because it works in rats, it will work in humans. No, you still got to look at the dose and things like that. You got to make the conversions and you got to, you know, account for the genetic differences. But we we very, very similar. So there's a big chance that Fidoja works in humans. It's just I'm not going to go out of my way and recommend it to people unless I have a ton. Of, you guys know my rule. I only recommend things that, one, I have experience with. Two, my clients have experience with. Three, there's gazillion amount of empirical evidence and number four there's obviously scientific evidence a lot of it you know so science so studies on humans studies on uh on rats mice so that's when i'm confident enough to say all right go ahead and try this whereas fedoja does not pass a lot of those uh you know a lot of those items all right let's see Pretty sure it increases LH, which can increase tests. Some people get LH increases with the testing. Da, da, da. Yeah, like I said, you don't want anything that increases LH unless there's something that's sustainable that you could take your whole life. Again, like the basics, food, healthy food, whatever. You want to be very careful with things that increase LH uh, because your body should not have low LH to begin with. You know. Now, if it's something that restores LH function, that's different, right? Meaning, let's say you, you had inflammation or you had very high cortisol or you had very low blood glucose or you had insulin resistance. And that led to your body not activating the KISS neurons and releasing GnRH, then yeah, you know, that, that's, that's obviously a good thing, right? Because you just fixed, you know, the underlying issue. But if you jump over the root cause, if you jump over the underlying issue and then you increase LH, yeah, that's never good. Um, Let's see. Uh, can you do a video on pine pollen? Sure. Um, the thumb up is proven to be execution arena. Yep, it was. All right, fellow history nerd. Glad to meet you. Uh, do you know about astrogenics? Uh, of course. Um, guys, I, I made videos about astrogen like, what, 10 years ago? It's still there. Super long video. I went over all the details. All right, next. Is eating too much meat bad for your brain? Because uh, No, too much meat is... Obviously, what do you mean by too much, right? It depends on what you mean by too much, right? You wrote a U-curve. Next, I only say yes because Andrew Humanman said it did. I know, I know this is a joke, but geez. Whew. Um, nope, but Tom Carly. And, and by the way, guys, I have nothing against Andrew Humanman, right? I, I think he's a great guy. Um, I've heard a lot of his content. Um, in fact, he came on my radar last year when he started making videos about sunlight and dopamine. You guys know I love dopamine and sunlight. I've been talking about it for years. So I was like, okay, this is a guy who knows what he's talking about. He's finally, finally somebody else is telling people to get enough sunlight and, 
you know, bringing forward the importance of dopamine, which you can look at my old videos. I've been talking about this shit for years. But I started to lose respect for him when he started saying complete bullshit, whether by accident or um, on purpose. And uh, the fact that he did not go back and rectify and clean up a lot of the mistakes. That's what I hate. That's why I draw the line. Right? I don't care how much, you, how much good information you give out. If you make a mistake and you let your ego get in the way of rectifying it, yeah, because then I can't trust you because now I know that you're driven by your ego. You're not driven by a pursuit of truth. And there's a lot of stuff that he said, which, like I said, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it was by accident. We all make mistakes. But the fact that he didn't go back and clean those up, yeah, I was like, fuck this. But, um, but yeah, I, other than that, I agree with, you know, 99% of what he says. It's just he, he, he goes over the top a lot, you know, and he, he likes to say things that are not proven, and he just throws it out there. Like the 400% semen retention bullshit. Oh, that made, that made me so mad. But I already made a video about that. Next. Um, but, yeah, overall, overall, like I said, I, th I, I think he's a great guy. Anybody who loves science, anybody who, who puts out free information, you know, um, I'm definitely going to like them more than I dislike them. Next. Uh, nope, but some kind of is usually paired with it. has the boosters. That's on. I tried it. Uh, gave me random pains in the balls. Yeah, th there's a lot of toxicity issues, especially in the animal studies. Um, but like I say, it depends on the dose and all that stuff. That's why I say we need more evidence. We need more studies. You guys have to be patient. Um, trust me, guys. If something works, even if I'm I'm against it, I'm going to make a video showing you guys that it works. Because that's what I do. I, I just show you the evidence as long as the evidence is substantial. Next, not in humans, just a single rat study. Correct. Um, because the human, yeah, 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 it's crazy, you know. Uh, and I don't know what he was thinking, you know. If you have an audience, if you have millions of people listening to you, you do not recommend something that does not have, you know, a ton of evidence and is also and also has a good, unestablished safety profile. You know, we don't even know the safety profile of Fedoja on rats, let alone humans, right? And we won't even know until years down the road. So the fact that he just went out there and recommended it, I'm sure he had good intentions. But holy cow, you should see how many people. Message me like, hey, I got, I ordered Fedoja, and I'm like, what? You think, guys, Fedoja is not new. It's, it's been out for a long time. Look at the studies. It's not new. The reason why people don't talk about it is because, is because there's not enough evidence. I could show you guys hundreds of compounds that are on my folder, on my list that I've studied, that I've not made a single video on. Want to know why? You guessed it. There's not enough evidence. But I would get so many views if I just made a video about every freaking random compound or a random study that came out. I would get so many more views. I would just be like, oh, look, look at this compound. Look at this compound. Look at this compound. No, that's not how I operate. I need gazillion amount of evidence, right? Because I cannot afford to mislead my subscribers or to just mislead anyone. And then next you know, they snap that shit up a year later and now I'm to blame, you know? I can't live with that. Next, uh, let's see. I searched online and it said it did increase every five days. Uh, you talking about the rat study, by the way? I said yes because the name sounds cool. I don't know do a human study, but there's definitely something rise. Yep, yep. Good thing I'm a rodent. <laughs> Later say so it might be toxic. Yep, yep. Maybe toxic. Let's see. Uh, me again, where do you go to look up actual scientific literature? By the way, I always put the studies in the description so you could check them out. Um, I want to make sure. And by the way, the, that's how you know that somebody's full of shit. Like the 400% semi retention bullshit. Challenge them. There's not a single study that proves it. I already debunked it. But you'll notice how they don't mention the study because it doesn't exist. You know, but anyway, yeah, I always give you guys the studies in the description. I give you guys the study on the website, the website article. If I don't message me, I'll just send it to you because um, I store almost every single one on my computer. I have thousands of studies on my computer. Um, I went out of room sometimes. But uh, yeah, so where do I go to look it up? I can make a separate video about that because the video is about Fedoja. But I already explained to you guys. I I look at PubMed. I look at ResearchGate. I look at um, Andrology Journals. Um, I look at obviously Google Scholar. Uh, not Google, Google Scholar, that's two different things. Um, look at uh, Science Direct. I look at biology textbooks. I go to the library. and get, I mean, I, I look everywhere, guys. You never pick just one place. I want multiple databases, multiple articles. You know, this this way I don't have to worry about conflicts of interest and things like that. But like I said before, I could make a whole video explaining you guys my entire research process. It is very long. It is very, because it's very detailed, very regimented. Um, very strict. I spent hours on this shit. I mean, this, this is my whole life, guys. You know, over a decade, tens of thousands of studies, you know, but again, I do it because I love it. You know, let's see. Uh, pretty sure they're only da da da. Yep. Yep. No human studies. Yep. Yep. Um, 
Uh, no gives away training. This is hilarious. Six times you better. All right, all right. So that's it. Uh, make sure you guys comment, join the Discord, join the Reddit, you know, and um, vote in the upcoming polls. I'm out. All right, guys. Don't forget to like or share the video. Subscribe and hit the bell. And buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workouts, splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.